How's it going guys, Agent Android here and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a relatively simple to build pop maker that you can use ideally for factions or survival, um, anything on a multiplayer server. You can also use this on creative to show people your awesome mechanism building skills. But I'm going to show you guys how to make this today. It is relatively simple, it can only brew uh, one potion at a time depending on what you put into these droppers over here. Now, I have it set up to brew a strength 2 pot because this is ideally what you want to do for factions, which is another pro tip that I recommend to you guys. Always have a ready supply of strength 2 pots because it gives you, I believe, plus 260 attack damage, which will really be effective against um, other players in PvP. Or in case someone tries to raid you, you want to have a ready supply set up just like this. So, the way this works is all you do is press this button and it will brew the pot for you while you carry on with your regular business. Now I'm going to show you a little demonstration, I have it all set up, see, I have uh, in these dispensers, or actually these are droppers I believe, yeah they are droppers, I have all the ingredients set up to make a strength 2 pot, and as you can see right here these are just water bottles, so I push the switch and it begins to brew. Right now you see the nether wart is set up, and it is going to brew this while I carry on my business, I do whatever I need to, and then I can always come back and I will have a ready supply of strength 2 pots, which... Still brewing the nether wart always takes some time, you know. But you, the point of this um, maker is you don't have to come back and add stuff all the time. Also what you want to do is have a ready supply of water right over here. Now the reason why I have a block dug into the ground and put some water in there is because using a cauldron, as you can see right here, it is not the same as just having an infinite water source like this. This, isn't, this is actually just not an infinite water source. This is a regular water source, however for bottles it is perfectly infinite. You can get as much water as you need to with bottles because if you just had a cauldron right over here and put uh, say some water in here, you would eventually run out. It's just like that. See I only have about three actually. I don't know why I didn't collect those but whatever. Now if I go into here, I can get as many as I need and I will not run out of water. So I just have plenty of water bottles and I'm going to put them in the chest right here which belongs to the water bottle chest. And right in here, I have my strength 2 pots ready. So I'm going to show you guys, without further ado, how to make such an awesome automated pot maker. Alright, so right over here you see I have a required materials chest. So just take a look and see what you're going to need. We're going to need three droppers, three hoppers, one brewing stand, one button, uh, any kind of building material of your choice. So building blocks, I use dark oak wood planks because I am in a dark oak wood forest right now. So I'm just gonna go with that, but um, usually you will need about 20, I guess, maybe. You shouldn't really need more than 20, but um, right now I'm in creative, so I just have one, of course. You, um, you're gonna need more if you're in survival. Then you need two chests, and you need a water bucket for the water source, and a lot of water bottles. And then over here, you're gonna need nether warts, of course, to brew anything, and your, um, your, the ingredients for the pot of your choice. Alright guys, so let's get started. I'm going to gather the materials. Right now I do not need these, so I'm just going to get the materials that I really do need for that. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need... Actually, no, I don't need that. I'm just going to fill it up with the uh, water bottles. And then I can put the ingredients over here. There we go. Alright, so what you want to do is make a 4x4 wall or find a 4x4 wall. Right now I'm going to make one because as you can see, I'm in the middle of a forest. That looks pretty epic on my texture pack, by the way. I'm using John Smith Legacy. And now what you're going to want to do is place a block right over here. Take a dropper, face it this direction. Put another dropper there. And put another dropper here. So you have three droppers right here. And you have a block holding them all up. So you can also make it floating in the air. But I personally prefer to have a block right over here. Next, what you're going to want to do is set up the hoppers. The first thing you want to do is take a hopper place it right over here, and now you're going to need another one to connect right into there, so that's why I used the block. You just tap onto that, and it, it is already connected, so I can just get rid of this block and put down my brewing stand. So now it is ideally connected into the brewing stand. Next, you're going to need a chest, and a chest right there, so you have two chests. This one is going to contain all the water bottles, so I'm just going to throw them in readily, and as you can see, some of them already went into the brewing stand, and of course here is going to be some other ingredients. Next, you place another dropper on the top, and it looks like we are ready to go. Wait, almost forgot. 
I need a button. And if you want to place a button on a dispenser or a dropper or anything, all you have to do is shift, right click, and it gets onto the thing. Because if I try just doing right click, it opens the dropper, so you always have to do shift, right click, and that gets it onto a block that usually has a container on it. Now, looks like we are just about ready. We also need our water source, so I'm just going to make one right over here. And we're ready to fuel it up. I'm going to put nether warts in the bottom one, and that's standard for all potions. You're going to put the next primary ingredient, which would be blaze powder, and you're going to need some glowstone dust if you want to make it a stronger potion, or if you want to make it a longer potion, you can put redstone dust into there as well, or not redstone dust, it's just redstone. So you just put either glowstone or redstone depending on that. Here goes the primary um, ingredient and of course the nether warts. So it looks like we are ready to brew. We All we have to do now is press the button and we should begin the brewing process right here. We've got the nether wart brewing that and uh, let's see, these already worked. We've got strength two pots ready and we should have these ready in about a minute. Alright guys, so it looks like it's been a minute and we have our potion of strength ready. Actually, hold on, this is a three minute strength pot, which means I only have 130. Wait, what did I do? That's different. Oh, I see. Alright, you guys want to make sure that you always have this dropper connected into this chest, which I forgot to do. I actually have it facing the wall, so it's just importing stuff into the wall, which doesn't work. All you have to do to fix that problem is... Oh yeah, that's, that was definitely the problem. All we have to do now is get rid of that chest, I guess, place a block over here, place the hopper, replace the chest, and we can just throw in the glowstone right there. It is going to go down into here, and it's going to start brewing the potion of strength too. Alright guys, so that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and please be sure to mind that like button down below if you did, or leave me a comment saying how I did in the uh, explanation of this tutorial and if it was relatively simple. And of course guys, stay awesome, and I'll see you next time.